How you need to equip your aircraft for ADS-B depends on a lot of factors. You have to consider what equipment you already have, where you fly, and whether you want access to subscription-free ADS-B weather and data link traffic. First and foremost, every aircraft that is equipped with ADS-B will need an approved position source, like a WAS GPS receiver. Many panel mount avionics have WAS GPS receivers built in, including the GNS 430W, 530W, and the GTN series. They calculate your position based on highly accurate GPS signals. You'll also need an ADS-B out solution that transmits this position information to ADS-B ground stations. For those of you who fly outside of the U.S. or within Class A airspace above 18,000 feet, you'll be required to broadcast this position information over the 1090 megahertz data link. This is done with a Mode S transponder that's equipped with extended squitter or ES technology like the Garmin GTX-330ES or the GTX-33ES transponders for certified aircraft and the GTX-23ES for experimental aircraft. Those of you who never fly above 18,000 feet or outside of the U.S. can opt for what's called a Universal Access Transceiver, or UAT for short, like the Garmin GDL-88. The Universal Access Transceiver broadcasts your ADS-B out data over the 978 MHz frequency. And a dual-link UAT, like the GDL-88, can receive ADS-B in information on both the 1090 and 978 bands. When coupled with a compatible display, this gives you the best possible ADS-B picture of traffic, as well as access to subscription-free weather. Even those who are required to use a Mode S ES transponder can use a GDL-88 to receive the traffic and weather benefits of ADS-B in. Now, if you find yourself needing both a WASP position source and a universal access transceiver, don't panic quite yet. Fortunately, there's a version of the GDL-88 that has WASP built right in. It could save you money.